One in eight people struggle with hunger in Connecticut. Subway restaurants and the Frederick A. DeLuca Foundation are teaming up with the Connecticut Food Bank to fight back against hunger. And we're here to tell you all about this walk coming up here in Connecticut. We're joined by Ashley Laye from Subway and CEO of the Connecticut Food Bank, Bernie Boudreau. And you guys are going to tell us how our viewers can help this weekend. How are you? I am doing well, yes. Subway is very proud to be one of the presenting sponsors for the Walk Against Hunger with the Connecticut Food Bank. Mm -hmm. We're asking everyone to come out and join us this Saturday at Seven Rock Park and really do our part to really fight hunger here in Connecticut. That's an awesome uh, mission that you guys have. and. Your organization does such wonderful work here in Connecticut. One in eight people, it's um, pretty eye-opening. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, folks in need of food assistance. Uh, it's part of uh, the structure of our economy, unfortunately, but it's still there. And even though the economy's bounced back, you know, not everyone's uh, been lifted out of that situation. Mm -hmm. So we distribute um, 55,000 meals uh, a day, wow. you know, all, all year round through this network of food pantries and uh, soup kitchens. So this walk is so critically important to us uh, to kind of raise awareness, get people to participate and uh, help raise the money and uh, get people to pay attention to the problem of hunger year round. Right. And tell us a little bit about the walk. Is it good for strollers? Anybody can take part, more or less? Absolutely. Anyone can take part. Mm -hmm. Families, friends, everyone can gather together. Bring your dogs, bring oh, your family, bring your friendly. children. <laughs> it's a two-mile walk. You can run it. You can walk it. And after you're done, you can enjoy a Subway sandwich. Oh, even better. Even right? better. Look, I mean, the dog even that's has part Subway of the fun. On. Oh, check that out. <laughs> and and wh why did Subway decide to, to get involved with this? Because it's such, a, such an important mission. And you you guys are based out of Connecticut, so it's nice you're able to support local charities like the Connecticut Food Bank. Absolutely. This is our second year co-presenting sponsoring the walk. Uh, we believe everyone deserves access to a good meal, and with one in eight people here in Connecticut struggling with hunger, we really want to make sure we do our part. Mm. We support various charities across Connecticut, and our partnership with Connecticut Food Bank is one that's really important to us. Are there other ways people in the community can help out besides the walk? Yeah, uh, pay attention. I mean, uh, we have appeals that go out asking for money for people to contribute. We have uh, different food drives throughout the year, and we're concerned about the summertime because that's where there's an increase of hunger. A lot of um, now the school kids aren't getting the school meals, okay. so the average uh, child not getting the meals has a hundred meals they miss. So the families have to make up for that. So we have an extra strain on us right now. So if people can uh, send a contribution to us or give online, that would be great. Uh -huh. And spread the word. We encourage all of our viewers to do that. And of course, you got to check out the event. Again, it's happening this weekend, Savin Rock Park in West Haven. 10 a.m., make sure that you head on out there. Uh, people can still sign up online. Yes? Absolutely. Okay. People can sign up online. We ask that you get there a little early and arrive by 8 to register. Very cool. And All also right. those Subway sandwiches afterward. And, and we were talking Any about bonus. those shoes right there. <laughs> Teresa asked. In those. in those boots. Those are very fashionable. So, so bring your walking boots. Absolutely. Yeah, you know? These boots were made for walking. There you go. Thank you both for being here and for what you do. And of course, you could check out the ctfoodbank.org for some more information.